so the next block in our block diagram is uh, the amplifier which we have designed it using a BJT okay so over here uh, yeah, this this part uh, is our amplifier I will explain you the buffer amplifier later on but for now this is your this is your amplifier we are designing it using BJT you can also try to design it using op-amp uh, or FETs okay that's not a big issue uh, but I had tried it using BJT so again uh, the amplifier is same like uh, the pre-amplifier this is your amplifier you are uh, this you are getting some low level signal you are amplifying it to some high level of signal so this is a basic task of amplifier we had designed it uh, many times I had also explained you how to design amplifier using BJT in my earlier post uh, okay so if you don't know just go there and just uh, uh, try to design it by yourself by re reading that post okay so this was the basic task about the amplifier okay uh, I hope you understood the, this then uh, uh, moving further to the uh, next part uh, I will explain you the buffer amplifier that why we are using this uh, unity gain or a buffer amplifier obviously it is uh, also made using opam or IC741 so uh, this part is your opam sorry a buffer amplifier obviously it is made up of opam okay so now you you will be thinking that uh, why we are using a uh, unity gain amplifier or buffer amplifier uh, before that you if let's say if you are not connecting a buffer amplifier you are connecting this mic directly to your uh, obviously here it is pre amplifier and you are connecting it directly to your uh, uh, amplifier okay let's say you are getting 10 millivolts of signal over here when it reaches over here uh, it may be uh, uh, let's say 9 millivolts of signal when it reaches over here it may be uh, it may again lose 1 millivolt and it may become 1 millivolt when it reaches here it may become 8.5 millivolts of signal but our amplifier is not designed such a way so that it will uh, amplify this 8.5 millivolts of signal okay it is designed such a way that it can amplify a signal which is greater than uh, or equal to 10 volt 10 millivolts of signal sorry 10 millivolts of signal and you are losing one uh, sorry uh, two two point five millions of signal, okay. Ideally, it should pass full ten millivolts of signal, but practically it is not possible due to maybe due to resistance of this wire and all, and considering the uh, temperature and all those factors, uh, practically or technically. So that's why to overcome this issue, what we are doing is that we are connecting this mic and then we are connecting this to uh, a buffer amplifier circuit then to the uh, last part not last second last part that is amplifier what happens is that you are getting 10 millivolts of signal over here okay you may get 9 millivolts of signal you may lose 1 millivolts of signal okay obviously due to resistance of wire and due to another some factors like temperature and all but now what this buffer amplifier does is that it passes this 9 millivolts of signal here so you would get 9 millivolts of signal at the input of amplifier now although your amplifier is designed such that it will take signal uh, greater than equal to 10 millivolts but yeah it can also amplify this 9 millivolts of signal very well not up to the mark but okay it can amplify it very well and then it will fed to the speaker so that's why to overcome this issue like earlier you were losing 2 point no sorry 2.5 millivolts of signal but now you are just losing 1 millivolt of signal so basically you are saving your power ok you are saving your power to save that power we are using this buffer amplifier ok ok so I will just write it what does this buffer amplifier do ok I have just uh, used it so that you can save your power so Okay, so we will just summarize in short so if our signal is less than 10 millivolts okay then this amplifier won't amplify that signal okay 
and a comparator uh, will give logic one at its output to, to which our, com our this controller will produce a, a, an inverted of its input so it, it is getting one at its input so it will produce zero at its output okay due to this the amplifier won't work since um, the since for amplifier this vcc is equals to zero that's why it can't amplify and our amplifier won't work that's why we the output would be zero or uh, speaker won't amplify any sound now uh, here, uh, now if the signal is uh, greater than equals to 10 millivolts uh, then this is 10 millivolts okay then obviously the preamplifier will amplify the signal and comparator will give uh, logic zero at its output due to which this controller will give inverted uh, inverted output uh, that is logic one at its output with this our amplifier will work because now the for amplifier the vcc is uh, uh, 5 volts that or logic one okay and obviously then from here the signal is coming and it is uh, amplify uh, amplified by this amplifier okay and uh, it is going to the output and obviously we can hear the uh, uh, the sound the surrounding sound okay so thus we had ma uh, made an automated uh, hearing aids by just using these components or by just using this hardware part i hope you understood it thank you okay so as you are seeing over here so uh, this is like our mic from which the sound energy is converted could be converted into electrical energy then it would be fed to uh, the preamplifier okay this is a preamplifier then from preamplifier it goes to uh, the negative terminal or the negative uh, pin of the comparator as you can see over here okay and comparator will compare this and this value okay and it will do the output accordingly and the output is fed to the uh, any triple five timer or the controller okay this is pin number two and this is uh, pin number three okay and from here uh, it is like uh, the output of 3 is like the is like uh, VCC for the for our amplifier which I had designed it using VJT and this is a buffer circuit as you can see over here okay so I hope you understood this circuit uh, I had given this uh, this circuit diagram in the post and the link of that post is in the description box so please uh, do visit there and read it and also try to design it uh, Okay, so now I will try to run it, okay. Okay, just a second. Okay, so now you are seeing that uh, I am giving around 1 kilohertz of signal and 15 millivolts of signal. That means 7.5 millivolts up and minus 7.5 millivolts down. So when you add it, you will get 15 millivolts of signal. And uh, see this signal is the amplifier this preamplifier is amplifying the signal and it is giving 1.13 uh, volts that means I, I had said that I designed for 3 volts but if you divide it by 2 so you will get 1.5 1.5 up and minus 1.5 down so it is almost equal to 1.5 but it is not, not 1.5 and now uh, when you see see this value comparator is basically comparing this value now this this value that is uh, the value which is given to the uh, positive terminal of op-amp that is pin number 3 is high see it is 5 volts around and the amplifier pre -amp and the uh, output of preamplifier is 1.12 so basically is 5 volts is higher than 1 volt so that's why you are getting plus 5 uh, or plus 4 volt at the output or logic 1 at the output ok and see here you are getting uh, logic 1 at pin number 2 so that's why at pin number 3 since uh, any triple five produces an inverted output to that of input so you will get a logic 0 at pin number 3 and that's why your op-amp is showing 0 volts so that is VCC of uh, sorry not op-amp uh, so, uh, that's why your amplifier is showing 0 volts that means the VCC of uh, VCC for BJT uh, is now 0 volts 
so your trans uh, the amplifier won't work okay uh, as you can see over here also uh, just a second yes uh, see yellow just a bit nice yeah yellow is our input signal okay then this blue one uh, uh, is the output of open okay uh, and and now it is DC that's why it is showing a single line okay uh, now then uh, the red one is the output of any triple five circuit see this red one it is the output of any triple five circuit okay right now it is uh, it is zero see right now it is zero the green uh, sorry the red one uh, just a second see right now it is zero okay and uh, obviously uh, the green one which is over here it is the output of uh, it is the output of this amplifier or BJT okay this is going to the green one so this is oscilloscope and from oscilloscope we are seeing this okay now uh, let's say I will just uh, just look at uh, just look over here the uh, uh, blue terminal and the red terminal and the green terminal okay I will just uh, drop it down the variable resistor and you will see the change in the signals okay see 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 over here this is what I wanted to show you your amplifier is now amplifying this signal you know, this green uh, signal is basically uh, represents that your amplifier is amplifying your signal. This yellow is your input signal and green is an uh, is an amplified signal. That means your yellow signal is amplified. Okay. Uh, that means the 10 milliwatts of signal is amplified. Okay. And this blue uh, signal represents that your op-amp is getting a positive and negative value. See over here. It is getting positive and negative value. So that's why your this blue line represents positive okay see, see this blue signal it represents positive and negative okay I had designed this any triple five circuit such that even if it receives a negative value, value for few microseconds as well then also it will produce a positive uh, uh, at 3 volt terminal for around 1 second that means you will get pure DC okay uh, at, at this terminal you are getting pure DC so this is connected to uh, BJT that means it will act as a uh, plus VCC okay earlier it was 0 but now it is 5 volts okay see this and your amplifier is also amplifying the signal so this means that our circuit is working our simulation is successful I hope you understood this uh, now see this when I am giving uh, one milliwatt of signal okay then then also my amplifier is not working see uh, the amplifier is getting zero volts okay and the comparator the positive terminal of comparator even though I had just uh, dropped this note down I am getting a positive terminal higher and that's why the output of uh, comparator is logic one that is uh, four due to this the output of any triple five is zero okay so this is that's why uh, uh, I can say that it is automated because uh, uh, earlier when I showed it to you it was seven uh, it was around 15 millivolts okay and there the amplifier and all the circuit was working properly when we dropped this knob down and here even so we dropped this knob down but our circuit is not working so basically uh, you can design this amplifier according to your uh, needs and yeah uh, it is working properly so i hope you understood it okay so please do like share and subscribe my channel to uh, learn about analog electronics and to learn various concepts about analog electronics in detail so,